Two Toronto entrepreneurs who once appeared on Dragon's Den are behind a new compostable mosquito trap, and their invention comes just as the world is looking for ways to stop the spread of the Zika virus. Philippe de Montigny tells us more. And we can just add uh, the water into it like that. Meet Morgan Wyatt, a biochemistry PhD turned CEO. For his mosquito trap to work, you must only add water. It's meant to mimic the breeding grounds of the pesky insect. After a mosquito has a blood meal or it comes and bites you and sucks your blood, um, it has an incredible urge to go lay eggs. And it will go and find our trap and then touch the insecticide and then end up dying. The bowl comes already sprayed with insecticide and has bait to attract mosquitoes. Each trap is biodegradable, which is five times cheaper than other traps on the market. A welcome alternative for countries where the Zika virus is rampant, says this infectious diseases specialist. They're relatively inexpensive. They could be widely deployed, especially in countries that uh, are low-income countries that just might not have the resources for mosquito control efforts. Greenlid uses the same technology for its traps as for its biodegradable compost bin, which was featured on CBC's Dragon's Den and had these venture capitalists fighting to seal the deal. But you're just selling yourself. I, I want yeah. to say, yeah. Because I want to do and a deal with all them. The now the company is looking for clients globally. After a year and a half of field tests in Australia, the government placed its first order, 4,000 traps in an effort to eradicate dengue fever, another mosquito-borne disease. After the Zika virus outbreak triggered a global state of emergency, Greenlid wanted to be part of the solution. With the onset of Zika and being declared a global pandemic, it just became almost a no-brainer for us. The team is currently in talks with three other countries to roll out its mosquito trap and says a global organization could be stepping in as a partner in the next few weeks. Philippe de Montigny, CBC News, Toronto.